The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. Nah, man, like, like, fuck that, nigga. Like, bro, listen, when you don't have a team in the area, fuck, nigga. When ain't no team in the area, you do whatever the fuck you need to do to that clock, nigga, so I can get that shit over there. Nigga, I need my motherfucking money, homie. Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. Wow. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for listening. And in this episode today, we're gonna check out my man Party to the motherfucking hard. Yes, sir. Uh, shout out to Party Hard. Shout out to 448 Report because he was the one that got the video and it, it shows Mr. Hard over there talking about e logs and how hard he is listen i fucks with party hard you know what i'm saying he's an exciting character if you guys like to know more about this man and see what he's about you gotta catch him on his live feed his live feeds is some of the wildest craziest live feeds i ever seen and when he gets into a rant it is golden it is golden that's what i'm talking about that's why he's here with me that's why he's the goat the goat <laughs> So definitely shout out to Party Hard in this episode right here. Again, we're going to go ahead and, and listen. So if you guys want to see it without my commentary, definitely go over to 448 Report as well as Party Hard's channel pages and let them know that Lockout Men sent you. Let's get into the video. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. You own this motherfucking game. If you don't know your worth, if you don't know what you can do, you don't know how, your value in this game, you gonna get fucked every time. Nigga ain't gonna tell you what, man, you deserve this. Then nobody gonna never tell you that. They gonna fuck you as hard as they possibly can every motherfucking time. So if you don't know that, and you don't set no boundaries, they gonna skin you. Let me give you an example. He ain't kidding. If you don't know your worth and you go over there with them crazy ass companies, them black op companies, they gonna chew you a new one. They're going to try and treat you some kind of way before you put your foot down and let them know that you're not going to be treated that way. That's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to put your foot down and let them know, hey, this is what I'm going to do. And this is how I'm going to do it. This is my CDLs. You don't tell me what to do. I'm the truck driver over here. If you don't like it, fine. I'll just leave and find another company. My man, now I'm over there in Georgia. I dropped off in the cool. I spend all day getting loaded at the other spot. These niggas eat up my whole day. I'm getting loaded Tuesday. The niggas eat my whole fucking day up. When I'm leaving out, I, I can't remember what time it is, but I know I counted on, on the West Coast. It was seven o'clock on the West Coast. I had to drop in, in Arizona. I had to drop in Tulsa, Arizona. So I get loaded Tuesday night. It's seven o'clock on the West Coast. This shit gotta be here Friday morning, right? So I'm over in Alabama. I done got to Bama, they kept me all day loaded, then I got unloaded and got loaded. So I'm in Bama. He like, yo, Marcus, oh, I don't know if you're always gonna make it. Well, we'll go ahead and let a team pick your load up. You take they back to Georgia. Mind you, I'm only 500 miles away from Georgia. Take their load back to Georgia and get it loaded, I'm gonna get you another load tomorrow. I'm like, nah, man, I, I'm like, fuck that, nigga. I'm like, bro, listen, when you don't have a team in the area, fuck, nigga. When ain't no team in the area, you do whatever the fuck you need to do to that clock, nigga, so I can get that shit over there. Nigga, I need my motherfucking money, homie. I'm yeah, I mean, man, they be calling, they say, hey, Andrew, man, I don't get it, man. They gave me a thousand mile load. They want me to be there tomorrow. I'm sitting over there like, me. Drive the truck. Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. Wow. And you the last brother money I mess with. I'm not going back to Georgia, bro. Have them niggas drop their shit and wait to get loaded. Like the fuck I did. I'm not gonna keep loading in this trailer, nigga. The fuck I look like a Jew boy for these boys? No. And I know my motherfucking value, nigga. I've been here since May. I don't take the fuck off and I'm nasty, nigga. All my shit delivered, boy. And I make deliveries that other niggas can't make. So I know my value, nigga. Suck my dick. And my record is clean right now, boy. That's what's up, man. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him, PH. Tell them you're worth, man. They don't need to find nobody else. They don't need no teams or anything like that. Just like you said, y'all been messing with the e-laws and all that other good stuff to make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Shout out to my man, Jason Andrew Jackson. He had this to say right quick. A black ops company's wanting you to be there the next day. 
I be here, I be man, I'm they do it from them cash truck drivers, but from the, from the leasing side, I'm like, man, goddamn, yeah. Yeah. Have y'all ever been doing good in trucking? Damn, have y'all ever been doing good in trucking? What is going on? I be here, I be man, I'm they be calling, they say, hey, Andrew, man, I don't get it, man. They gave me a thousand mile load. They want me to be there tomorrow. I'm sitting over there like this. Drive the truck, man. Stop. Look, 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 look. Let, let me talk to my Russian 1099 truck drivers, okay? Russian man come give you a thousand mile load. He wants you to be there tomorrow. Okay? Do you got a plan on why you went to the restaurant? Do you have a plan? Or did you have a plan? Or did you understand what going to the Black Ops companies is about? You guys already know about these Black Ops companies. Y'all know what they do. Y'all know what they're about. So ain't no hopping over there talking about I ain't going to do this and I ain't going to do that. You already know what it is when you signed that dotted line and when you went over there to drive for them. Now, now, my 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 four month people, let, let me pull you to the side right quick because maybe you probably might not understand the 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 situation, the 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 seriousness of of what's gonna happen when you mess with a black ops company. This is what's gonna happen. They're gonna give you the impossible loads. They're gonna give you the impossible times. They're gonna give you that tight deadline. They're going to give it to you today. You up in Michigan. They need you to be in Texas tomorrow. And you want to know how they're going to do it? They're going to help you. They will help you. But they're going to make sure that they protect themselves first. They, Hey, listen. They're going to protect themselves first. They're going to help you. They're going to give you the opportunity. As soon as you say yes, they're going to inspect you to be there tomorrow with the help that they give you. And if you can't make it, oh well, we are gonna sit you. If you get pulled over, they are gonna, they gonna probably give you something to say. Hear the music. The driver was delivering a load from Missouri on December 14th, headed for a drop yard in Chesapeake, Virginia, and operating under the guise of a team driver, according to an interview conducted by NTSB senior accident investigators. That allowed the company to skirt HOS rules, the agency said. Multiple ex Triton drivers told NTSB and Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration officials about a process to evade allowable driving hours. I basically repeated what they told me to say, the driver involved in the crash told investigators. The driver shared with the NTSB that he would tell roadside inspectors and police that he just dropped off a co-driver at a truck stop. That also occurred with state police the night of the fatal crash, he said. The company's CEO and HOS manager denied knowing about the fictitious logins, per the report. They might give you a, a list of things to say in case you get pulled over. But for my veteran drivers, we, we should know better. We should know better. And we already know what time it is. Just like Andrew says, you got a plan? Did, did you have a plan? You, you want to save up some money? You want to go on trips? You want to get this house? You want to get out of the SAP program? Ain't that the plan? Well, if that's the plan, then that's what you're going to have to accept from these black ops companies. These black ops companies, again, they claim that they care about you. They want you to run with them. They want you to make $3,000. That's how they're going to advertise it. You got bills to pay. You broke. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. You homeless. If you're homeless network your car got repossessed <laughs> you got kicked out of your house so you sleeping in the truck you need the help of the black ops company you need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers they need people you need people like them like them so they can get you to where you want to be that's the plan right that that that's the plan don't ever try me like that. So no, fix my clock like the fuck you been doing, nigga. Huh? And get my fucking paper. Yeah, well, if you don't make it, then you owe 250. All right, whatever, nigga. Get my shit. And you see I'm in Arizona. I don't go play with you, nigga. But if I'd have been a sucker-ass nigga, yeah, man, I'm going to go back. Play me like a bitch. Nah, nigga. 
I know my value, homie. My license clean. I've been doing this shit nine years and I'm nasty. I'm proficient with the whole fucking map. East to west, north to south. I got it, nigga. My man said he knows the cuts. He knows the cuts. East to west, north to south, south to west, inside, outside. I know the shortcuts. I know how to dodge things. Give me what I need. Take care of that clock and I would get you down. But you you heard what he said. You heard what he said about the black ops company talking about, hey, if you don't get it there, we're going to tax you. See, that's what they do. That's what they do. They inspect you to do that. They inspect you to, to run. They're going to give you the opportunity to do it. But if if you half step, if, if you don't get it there on time, trust and believe they're going to mess with your money. And here you guys come to the Lockout Man channel talk about your experience with a black ops company that's going to mess with your money they're going to mess with your money they're going to turn around and be like hey you didn't do this you didn't do that you promised this you promised that you didn't live up to the promise so we're not going to we, we're not going to deposit that good three thousand dollars that we claim that we're going to give you you turn around and say hey where's my money i i got it down there now you sitting down in texas probably well, you might not even made it to Texas because you you're probably going to be tired driver see my man right here he ain't your average driver he ain't your average driver go check my man out go over there and let him know lockout me and sent you he ain't your average driver that man that that man would go ahead get a cup of get a cup of pilot coffee up in him get some of the, get a couple of things a red bull and some five hour energy with the help of the black ops company oh boy you have it down there he, he went to sleep in in michigan woke up in arizona but i know what you guys thinking i know what you guys thinking man he's he's giving us a bad name and he's doing it wrong like that he he needs the money you don't know his situation you don't know his situation if you've been following this man for as long as i've been following him i i know a little bit about his situation but you guys don't know his situation don't play with this man's money you don't get me my money to that I'm gonna put that young girl of yours out on horse road. Listen, Prince, that's my wife you talking that's about, man. What? Now somebody's going to work tonight, Freddie. You really shouldn't have fucked with my money, Freddie. I know your fucking neighborhood like I know my block. So, nigga, I can run anywhere, any lane, and I'm nasty. So what? All my shit delivered. I've been here since May. I don't take no days off. Who on your team fucking with me? I'll break his back. How many days you want to go? 96 months? I got nothing but this shit here, nigga. I got nothing but the fucking block. Listen, no sleep. No sleep. This man is, is not your average truck driver. Give him, give him the work and he'll make it happen, man. He'll make it happen. So you can't beat me, nigga. I got nothing but the block, nigga. How many days you want to go? Strike. No days off, nigga. I'm here. Since I've been here, I haven't taken off. For what? Till I go to DR. I've been here grinding. When I come back to DR, I'm going to work till I take my next pop off. See, that's the plan. That's the plan. That's what I was That's what I was just simply saying. Me and Andrew said the same thing. Andrew said, do you have a plan? Do you understand the reason why you're going over to the Black Ops company? Oh, $10,000. I just $10,000 more dollars on it, man. I'm up here at the wrestlers, man. And... I'm not liking it, man. I'm trying to explain to this dude. He gave me a style. I load, told me I need to be there eight in the morning, and, and, and man, I can't get no sleep. And I, sh hey, brother, I thought you just told me you went up to the wreck, and you just tell me that car you hit out there with ten thousand dollars. What, what you? And he give you, you got a thousand. How much? You get seventy cent a mile. Okay, look, brother, check this out. First of all, you gonna be there tomorrow. Then you gonna be there tomorrow at eight a.m. You ten nine nine, right? Okay, so check this out. Stop complaining. Start the truck up, start rolling. Now, 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 pilot got some good coffee. Yeah, he's right, man. That pilot got that good ass coffee. So, same thing with love. If you come across love, you know what I'm saying? But if you go in there at the wrong time, just like Andrew said, you know, that coffee part might be cold. So, you're going to need, you probably might need to buy yourself a curry. When you get with the Black Ops companies, I think that's what you should invest in right off the rip. Don't invest in no PlayStation. Don't invest in no TVs. Don't invest in nothing but the essentials. Maybe a microwave and a curry because that's exactly what you're going to need when you mess with these Black Ops companies because they're going to inspect you to run. Look, 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 my, my, my four-month drivers. I know this is a little bit hard for you to listen to because you 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 haven't experienced anything like the black ops companies 
a lot of you haven't because i talked to a lot of you that only been in the industry for maybe like a month or two y'all been with swift y'all saw swift was treating you wrong or at least you thought swift was treating you wrong us express ain't giving you no miles and here's this big dangling carrot i.e black ops companies saying that we could get you driver you've been rocking out with swift for four months come over to us come over to us we got you we'll give you that shiny new truck all you got to do is pay us pay us two maybe about two three hundred dollars a month lock in this truck will be yours if the price is right hold on what's going on guys i just want to stop the video right here right quick if you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing go ahead and hit that like button for me bro hit that like button it's free it's free if you made it this far into the video man make sure you hit that like button it's right up under the video man and if you guys like more content like this consider okay y'all got two options well one but two options you can either subscribe for the channel for more and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show if it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road you would have none of y'all shit this video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver